Dear Centurion, what I'm about to tell you is easier told written, for what I'm going to say changes everything for our family. Before I begin, note that I am trusting you with all my heartstrings for you to keep this between you and me. No one should know about this letter. As I'm sure you are aware, me and your wife are usually seen as sisters or soul sisters, but we're not true sisters. Only sisters at heart and nothing more than close friends. But the truth says otherwise. For you see, Centurion, my mother had seven children, two sons and five daughters. One of those daughters actually being myself, Princess Marianne Symphony. I don't remember any of my old royal life with my mother or any of my siblings due to me being so young. I was only nine months old when we were evacuated because of the war. I was adopted by a couple who I had believed to be my birth parents for so long and went by a new name without the title of princess. I only recently discovered this information not too long ago via a letter and thought it was time to share. I don't think Crimson yet knows I am her true sister, nor do my adoptive parents know I live with her. Nobody else knows except myself, my adoptive parents, who I received this information from, and now you. I don't know what to think, who to tell. Due to only finding out today, it's hard to know who to tell and when to tell them. Whilst we're at it, there's also something that's been on my mind ever since I first met her. Your daughter, Naya. I know she's quite a distant daughter to you, but it makes what I'm about to tell you much easier on the heart. I am Naya's true birth mother. Whether it comes to you as a surprise or not, I've been noting the way in which similarities in our physical appearance prove this statement true. Naya is about 16. 16 years ago, when I was only 13, I was willingly taken into a lab for usage of my DNA. My DNA was injected into the sperm cell of an unknown source, along with one of my donated egg cells. The cell was fertilized, which resulted in the creation of Naya. Since the creation was a success, nobody knew what to do with her. So we took her in, but since I was only 13 and my family were already struggling, I took her to an orphanage, but not before giving her the name of Naya, which stands for not your average. Not too many years after I moved into the castle, I realized my sister had taken in a child with the same name, age, and orphanage as mine. I decline this as nothing more than coincidence, but there's no doubt it was worth taking into consideration. The similarities in our appearance and the way we speak couldn't have happened by chance. I am convinced she is mine. She has always wanted to know of her true mother, but I just can't bring myself to tell anyone. It would legit ruin what has already been established and would make things very complicated for our family. I know you and Crimson were planning to reacquaint with all of her siblings one day, and I fear that whether I do show up or don't, I'll mess up the whole thing. Whether Crimson takes that easy or not, I don't know when to tell anyone I'm Naya's true mother to. I don't know which one to expose first. Probably not the latter. Either way, I await your response when you can. I hope the Second Crusade is going well, and I hope this letter finds you well. I'm eager for your return and your perspective on this situation. I wanted to get this to you and only you, as you're the closest tie to both Crimson and Naya. I really needed to let everything out at once. Again, I await your response as soon as you can. Sincerely, Marcy.